Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another home studio trainer show and we're going to take a quick look at removing channels from the mixer. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, do this here. If you uh, like what you see here, like and subscribe if you're on YouTube, follow if you're on Rumble, and if you want, you can help support me out on Patreon. All of the links are in the description. All right, so let's go right to the classroom. So you can see here, I have a channel, but I don't have an associated track. So this thing is kind of a waste. And I had somebody today uh, who needed to remove this. And if you right click, there is no remove option here like this and if you open up the track list you can see it here and you can see that it's not being used and you can right click and there is no remove option here so you're probably wondering well how on earth do i get rid of that so let's close that and let's open up this little guy right here it says show instrument rack you can uh, click on this and it shows all of the instruments that you have inserted in your song even if they're not associated with the track so you can see here that this channel is actually grayed out and this is the one we want to remove and if you uh, hit this little carrot here the drop down and you can go down here to remove and boom it's gone now there's a similar situation with impact so you can see here with impact um, I have all of these outputs that are available but I don't have any associated channels so that's a good thing so it's not gonna wa actually waste any room so if I was to go into impact and select a kit that had multiple outputs let's do the where's the 60s ago go there we go so if i choose this as my uh drum kit it's going to take a second to load and now i think it's in there Yep, it's in there. So now, if you look down here, you can see that in Studio 1.7, there is now a little folder that pops up in the channels. If I actually unfold that, boom, those are all the channels. So now, let's say I go back to a kit, and I don't want all of these channels. So you can see that if I open up Impact... You can see that all of these different sounds are coming out of different channels. Let's see here. There we go. You can see that they're coming and spreading across. There we go. All right. So now if I go, whoops, <laughs> move the wrong thing. If I go to impact and I select a kit that doesn't have multiple channels. So let's go to one of my kits, my 70s drum kit. So now the 70s drum kit, if you look, all of the sounds come out of the first two outputs. So I don't need all of these. Now, it is just as easy now in Studio 1.7 to actually just fold them up. But let's say I want to get rid of all these because I'm not using them. Again, I can go to this little guy right here, the show instrument rack. And I can actually now click on the expand. And there you go. See the little check marks? They're associated with all these channels. Since I don't need these channels and I don't need the folder, I can just simply click on the top one and drag down. All of the channels are gone. So you got the little folder there if you need it later on, but you can just leave that closed and now we are good. So the whole point of this, it's <laughs> collapse says, is to be able to understand when you have the instrument rack, you can actually remove things that are no longer associated with your song so i hope that you guys found that helpful uh let me know in the comments what you guys think and while i actually uh, take that message on my phone that keeps tweeting and i will see you all in the next video